Every year, millions of people make resolutions with the hope of improving their lives and achieving their goals. But for many, these resolutions fail to become a reality because they have no structure behind them. In this video, I'm going to give you a blueprint on how you can make positive changes in your life and make this year your best year yet. Let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do to make this year your best year yet is that you need to rewire your brain to become more self-aware. Self-awareness is a crucial aspect of personal growth and well-being. It allows you to recognize and to understand your emotions and to distinguish them from your true self. In meditation, this is known as detachment. This is the ability to observe your thoughts and emotions without becoming overly attached to them. When you are present and detached, it's almost like you are floating on water. If you start to fight it, if you start to resist it, you will sink. This is also true for your mind. As soon as you become too attached to your thoughts or emotions, you will experience suffering. Look at it this way. All emotions are temporary. Just like clouds passing over a mountain, the mountain remains unchanged. It remains strong and unmovable. The mountain is not defined by the clouds that pass over it or the rain that rains on it. Similarly, your emotions and your experiences do not define you per se. What defines you is how you react to them, whether or not you take a charge to make a change. With emotional mastery, you are able to recognize and acknowledge your emotions, but you do not let them control you. This allows you to experience a constant state of peace in your life, even in the face of challenge and circumstances. Understand that I'm not saying that if you become more self-aware, if you master your emotions, that your life will be perfect and you'll just be lollygagging. <laughs> no. It's actually quite the opposite because you are more aware of these things going on around you. You just handle them a lot better. While on the other hand, someone who lacks self-control may have underlying anxiety and anger in their actions, even in moments of happiness. You've probably experienced this in your life. I know I have at one point in my life, an insecure person may still feel unhappy even when they receive love, attention, or even when they're laughing because they believe that these good feelings won't last forever. And here's the thing, they won't last forever. But that is where detachment comes into play. When you are too attached to your emotions, this leads to suffering. When we become too attached to certain emotions or experiences, we set ourselves up for disappointment and pain when changes occur because we depend on them. With inner peace and self-awareness, you don't need to be happy all the time. You understand that the good times and the bad times, they come and go. A peaceful person does not have extreme reactions to anything, even negative events, and their emotions do not fluctuate based on the world's response to them. They have inner certainty, a sense of confidence and stability that comes from within rather than being dependent on external circumstances. The next thing that you need to do in order to have the best year of your life is that you need to constantly evolve. To truly thrive in this life, you need to constantly evolve and strive for the next level. This doesn't mean that you should not be appreciative of where you are right now, because look at it this way. Every moment in your life, including this one, once was the next level in your journey. But it's important to remember that there is always room for improvement and growth. There will always be a higher level to reach. And it's that mindset that keeps you constantly improving and motivated to achieve more. Developing this mindset to get that spark, that fire started under you is essential for personal growth and success. It's what drives you to work hard and to stay focused on the task at hand. It's what helps you stay motivated and determined even when things get tough. By constantly striving for the next level and focusing on the work that needs to get done today to get there, you can keep moving forward and achieving more in life. Let's keep it real. 
We see it all around us today. So many people walk around and they lack a sense of urgency or they lack a drive. They are content with their current circumstances and they are comfortable in their current state of mind. But comfort does not necessarily mean that you live a fulfilling, exciting, or purposeful life. Comfort often comes from a fear of taking risk or stepping outside of the norm. Look, I get it. It can be scary to face challenges or to use your fight or flight instincts, but these are essential for growth and progress in life. If you want to achieve more and advance to the next level of your journey, you need to cultivate a sense of ambition and determination, a killer instinct, that ruthlessness that keeps you thriving in this world. Without it, you may become stagnant and you will fall behind. No one said life would be easy, but it is through facing challenges and taking action that we are able to make progress and achieve our goals. So if you want to break out of your comfort zone and achieve more in this life, it's time to develop that killer instinct, the drive and determination that will help you succeed in a world that can be harsh and unforgiving. With this mindset, you can overcome obstacles and challenges and achieve the next level of your journey. The next thing that you need to do in order to have the best year of your life is that you need to stop procrastinating. Tackling the most difficult task first can be a powerful way to boost your productivity and to make progress towards your goals. When you hear just do it, Nike's iconic slogan, that perfectly captures the idea that we should take action and tackle our challenges head on rather than procrastinating or avoiding them altogether. This approach can be extremely useful when it comes to tackling those difficult tasks as it allows you to get them out of the way and avoid the stress and anxiety that can come with leaving them for later on. But the benefits of tackling those difficult tasks first rather than procrastinating, they go far beyond just improving your productivity. If everyone focused on what they were meant to be doing, meaning using their unique talents and abilities to create and contribute to the world, we would likely see a lot less conflict, a lot less disturbance in this world. Unfortunately, I understand that it can be difficult to discover and to develop those unique talents, especially when we are constantly bombarded with distractions like social media or celebrity gossip, which we see a ton of today, especially recently. That's why it's important to take the time to focus on our own goals and priorities and to block out distractions as much as possible. To achieve mastery in a skill or an area of expertise, it takes an extreme amount of practice, an extreme amount of patience. We're talking around 10,000 hours, but it's important for you to remember that this journey towards mastery it requires consistent effort over time rather than sporadic bursts of activity. Just like going to the gym, trying to get stronger. The hours do not put in themselves. It takes discipline and dedication to make progress. To improve your productivity and to make progress toward your goals, try adopting a hardest first attitude, meaning tackling the most challenging, the most difficult task early in the day when you're fresh and focused. This can help you get the most difficult task out of the way, allowing you to have a smoother and easier rest of the day. By tackling the hardest task first, you can make significant progress toward your goals and achieve the sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that comes with overcoming challenges. The next thing that you need to do in order to have the best year of your life is that you need to stop trying to change others. Focus on improving yourself because it is essential for personal growth and happiness. I get it, it's natural that you want to try to change other people around you, especially those that are close to you, but it's important to remember, people have their own thoughts, their own feelings, and their own behaviors that are shaped by a combination of many experiences, beliefs, and personality traits. Trying to change someone else, it often involves a lot of effort and frustration and it may not even be possible. Instead of trying to change others, it's more productive and more fulfilling to focus on improving yourself. When you work on becoming the best version of yourself, you naturally attract others who are similar to you in various ways. This is because like attracts like. 
we tend to be drawn to people who share similar values, goals, and interests. By improving yourself and becoming the kind of person you want to be, you will naturally attract others who align with your mindset and your overall purpose. Trying to fix or mold others into your desired version of them is not a healthy way to approach relationships. It can create resentment because they are not who you truly want them to be. And it will cause strain on the relationship because it is not fair to the other person. Instead, it's important for you to accept people for who they are and focus on improving yourself because like I previously stated, we tend to attract others who reflect who we are as individuals. So by working on ourselves and becoming the kind of person that we want to be around, we will naturally attract others who align with our values and our goals. The next thing that you need to do in order to have the best year of your life is that you need to set goals and you need to plan properly. Proper planning is crucial for achieving success in any endeavor. Without a plan, you may find yourself panicking or missing important steps of the way, and that could lead to failure. That is why it's important to take time to write down your goals and break them down into small, actionable steps. This helps you gain clarity and focus, making it easier to take necessary steps toward your goals. Many people don't take action because they become overwhelmed by the magnitude of their goals or their problems. They may see a task as a whole and feel discouraged by the amount of work it will take to do that task and achieve their goals. But by breaking things down into smaller chunks, you can solve any problem by consistently working on it every single day. This helps you avoid getting overwhelmed and allows you to make progress slowly but steadily. Realistic goals are essential for success. By setting achievable goals, you will realize how small steps lead to a great amount of progress and success. Unrealistic goals, on the other hand, they will lead to burnout and disappointment, especially if you are unable to consistently achieve them. It's not always about taking a huge leap in life. Sometimes it's about tasting those small wins every single day and building momentum. To gain momentum, it's important to be realistic with your goals and to make sure that they are achievable. With this approach, you can steadily progress toward your goals and achieve success without getting discouraged or becoming overwhelmed. Self-improvement is about taking control of your life. Remember that this is a continuous process. It's a never ending process. This is about setting goals, taking action and learning from the mistakes that you make as you work towards becoming the best version of yourself. So start today by subscribing to this channel and take control of your journey towards self-improvement. Peace.